What's good YouTube, it's your main man Code Room and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pause, resume, and restart button in Godot. I'm going to use Godot 4.3 for this tutorial, but it should work just fine in other versions of Godot 4. First you need to add a control node to your scene. Then add three separate button nodes and name them pause, resume, and restart. You can give them text that matches that as well. You can also use the texture buttons if you want and assign your own textures. And the tutorial will go just fine with those as well. Set the visibility of the restart and resume buttons to false. Now what you want to do is attach a script to the root node of your scene. You can call this script root or main or whatever you want. Then send a press signal from each of the button nodes that you added earlier. Head back over to the script editor and for the pause signal write a get tree method. This will get the node's current scene. And then add the boolean paused at the end. Just do that by writing dot pause and at the end of the method assign a value of true. Also make it so that when this button is pressed it becomes invisible and the resume and restart button become visible. Now when we pause the scene is paused and the resume and restart buttons become visible. For the resume signal do the same thing with the code but set all the booleans to the opposite. So set the get tree method pause to false and set the visibility of the resume and restart buttons to false. So the best way to do this would just be to copy and paste the code then change the values accordingly. Make sure the pause button's visibility is set to true. For the restart button you'll need two get tree methods. The first needs to call the pause boolean and be set to false. The second method needs to call the reload current scene method. The first method will unpause the scene and the second method will restart the scene. That's it for the code side. Now go to the inspector panel for the resume button and go to the process mode and set it to always. This will make it so that even when the scene is paused the resume button works and remember it only appears when the game is paused so it works perfectly. Now do the same thing for the restart button. You can do this in code but it's much easier to do in the inspector panel. And now when we run the scene the resume, pause, and restart buttons all work the way they're supposed to. Now if you want to darken the screen whenever it's paused there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can add a canvas modulate node. This node will tint the entire canvas. So you want to default this at just white but you want to go into the code editor now and under the pause button signal and call the canvas modulate nodes color property and assign it whatever darker hex code you want just make sure that under the resume signal you call the same property but this time you make it white you can expand upon this in your own way add other options and different menus games typically let you adjust things like the audio when you pause so if you want to expand upon it then just make sure that whenever you do something in the pause signal undo it in the resume signal or do the opposite of that thing but anyways that's all for today's video i hope you all learned something make sure you like and subscribe and i'm out of here